Hi, good afternoon. I'm Steve from Oakwood Homes Prestige and Country. Uh, we're here this afternoon to show you a live stream video or viewing of Inglewood, which is a 16th century grade two listed cottage or house in the heart, very heart of the village of Minster. Now, if I just give you a little idea of where we are, we're in the middle of Minster, there's the church and the Bell Public House and here we have Inglewood and just at the top here of the village is the local facilities so you're about half a mile from um, uh, from the station, not even that, probably a quarter of a mile from the station, quarter of a mile from the shops. So we're right in the heart of the village. So this is Inglewood, numbers three and five High Street. Two listed four bedroom detached house absolutely beautiful and we're going to go inside and have a good look around if you've got any questions or queries don't hesitate just ask um, and I'll do my best to answer them so the first thing as you come in you've got a little entrance vestibule and then we come through to what is approximately a 30 foot living room, lounge, lovely exposed flint wall. The uh, Parts of the house date originally to the 16th century. There's a later 18th century addition. That's an operational Ingle Nook fireplace. Absolutely beautiful. Now the thing about this house is that it actually has lots of versatility and potential. So if we just do the main house to start with, you get a good feel for the space in here and the features, absolutely beautiful features. Exposed timbers, exposed flint, ashlar checker brickwork on the outside. So we come through and we've got a lovely country cottage kitchen, very much in keeping with the house and the style. And you've got integrated oven, you've got um, induction hob, all mod cons. And then the heart of the home here is out here in this conservatory. Beautiful timber conservatory. The um, abbey is literally just around the corner from us. Um, and the garden doesn't quite back onto the abbey, but it backs onto the garden that backs onto the abbey. So it's very central is the point I would make. Now, if I come through and back through past the lounge and the ingle nook, what you discover is that we've got what at various times has had different lives. But through this inner lobby, we come through to what has the potential to be an annex. So it has its own separate entrance off the high street. It's all gas central heated. But this was originally at 1.2 rooms, could easily be cut back up into a living room and a bedroom. There's a little kitchenette and a downstairs loo, which potentially could become a wet room. Uh, this is the second room which would possibly make a bedroom and then we come through and it's got its own access out to the garden through via this oak door there is the loo which could become a, a small shower room wet room and we have its own little kitchen so that has the versatility of a possible annex or certainly a separated living area for a, a teenager or older offspring. Now, I'm going to take you upstairs. And as we come up to the top of the stairs, we can follow it round. And, uh, 
and around again and you've got some beautiful timber work up here absolutely glorious so it was at one point five bedrooms and there was a little where I'm standing now was an inner vestibule but what the owners currently have it as is a master suite with dressing room and then you come through and down some steps into the main bedroom beautiful quirky old house really is a stunner and then an ensuite shower room with a feature chimney breast and a lovely walk-in shower okay so all mod cons even though we are 16th century so that's the master suite, the ensuite, the bedroom area, and this lovely dressing room. On this level, we've then got another bedroom, again it's a good sized double. They're all good sized doubles to be fair. Little wardrobe cupboard. And then we come through and round. And we're all different levels slightly, so I have to be slightly careful. And we have another double bedroom. There's a wash hand basin in this one. But again, lovely features the old chimney breast from the fire down below now we have this beautiful family bathroom absolutely gorgeous fairly recently been done And again, beams everywhere. So a lovely spacious bathroom. And then if we go up another floor, we've got a huge fourth bedroom. and a resident pussycat but this bedroom measures approximately 20 by 9, 10, perhaps 9 foot 6 something around that depends on which height you take it from because obviously we've got the pitched roof or ceiling but lots and lots and lots of space so that's the inside of Inglewood but now we're going to take you outside to really appreciate the gardens. So the property has a shared access with number seven next door, but they have a double garage each and parking in front of the double garage. So there's double garage plus two spaces parking, which I'll just show you through the front door here so the green door is garage belonging to Inglewood and it does actually have gated access but I don't believe either party shuts the, the gates off but you could now if we go out via the kitchen and conservatory we can go out to the back garden 
which measures somewhere in the region of 80 feet. It's a walled garden, as you would expect. There is a side access, as you would expect with a house at this period. We've got a number of different areas. We've got veg troughs and veg areas. We've got an ornamental pond. Um, side access into the garage. Lovely and quiet, as you can tell. Garden shed. Just take my time over the bridge. And then we've got this lovely sun trap deck taking full advantage of the evening sun and I don't know if the wine's for me or just for effect but a lovely quiet gazebo area for entertaining now hopefully you won't get too much glare from the sun because my favourite aspect of this house is actually the back it's an absolute stunner beautiful looking house. Let's try and get down here and into the sun, out of the sun. There we go. So we should start now to get a feel for what she looks like. Beautiful, lovely village centre Minster house. So that's it, Inglewood. If it's something that you think might be of interest to you, then um, give me a call. The number's 01843 808 921. You can find it on the website at www.oakwoodhomes.biz. Um, but I strongly recommend getting inside to, to see what the house is about because it's an absolutely beautiful house. Thanks for joining us. I look forward to seeing you again. And, uh, Wait to hear from you. Thank you.